And all these intelligent tools, features, AI, all of it helps bring a heightened sense of awareness to your sleep activity, what your sleep quality is like, and what you could do to improve your sleep. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, BMAC. So, you guys know me. You know, I'm a huge Apple Watch guy. But if there's one thing I love more than the Apple Watch, it's a good night's sleep. Luckily, I get to have both. For a while now, I've actually been able to improve my sleep through Apple Watch sleep tracking. Yes, you can track your sleep on the Apple Watch just when you think the Apple Watch can't do anything else. Boom, you get one more feature. Today, I'm gonna talk to you guys about Pillow. Pillow is hands down my favorite sleep tracking app for the Apple Watch, and I'm gonna tell you guys why. I've personally been using Pillow for probably close to around a year now, and I can honestly say I've used it pretty much every single night since. So this is what Pillow is all about. Pillow is an advanced sleep tracking app available both on your iPhone and your Apple Watch that does a remarkable job at actually tracking your sleep and providing you with a sleep quality score. In addition to that, we also get a smart alarm feature built into the Pillow app, a smart alarm clock that actually wakes you up at the best possible time in the morning. So Pillow does all of that and then some, which we'll get into in just a second. But first, let's talk about one of my personal favorite features of the Pillow app, your sleep quality score. I gotta admit, the sleep quality score that Pillow provides me with in the morning is kind of scarily accurate. For example, I know for a fact that if I get below 70% sleep quality in the Pillow app, that next day, you might as well just count me out for the count. I'm gonna be lethargic, probably not gonna get anything done. On the opposite of that, if I get anything 80% and above, there's a pretty good chance on that day, I'm gonna be taking over the world. Now how Pillow actually tracks your sleep and provides you with a sleep quality score is through your Apple Watch motion throughout the night in addition to your heart rate sensor, paired up with iPhone sound recordings. And that makes sense, naturally the more you move, the more you toss and turn, the higher your heart rate, the more sound you make. Pillow analyzes all those different data points to actually come up with a sleep quality score, track your sleep, and let you know how you're doing with your sleep cycles. And then, in in addition to that, like we said before, Pillow will actually also use that data to actually wake you up in the morning when is the best possible time to wake you up. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, personally, getting woken up in a deep sleep is enough to ruin my entire day. Terrible, right? Absolutely horrible feeling. It completely throws off my morning. But with Pillow, that is actually no longer an issue because with Pillow, like I said before, you can actually set a smart alarm, which means you actually set up a wake up window anywhere from 15 to 60 minutes, a time frame within which Pillow will actually wake you up, a time when is actually the best time to wake you up. And Pillow, because it's actually tracking your sleep throughout the night, can analyze your sleep cycles, pretty much know what sleep cycle you're in, and then wake you up during your smart alarm clock window when you're in your lightest sleep possible so you're not startled out of a deep sleep, getting jolted awake, and therefore hopefully starting your morning off on a better note. So therefore I'm not disturbed out of my restful slumber, and I'm only woken up when I'm in my light of sleep, you know, gently awoken, awakened, awoken? When I'm waking up in a light sleep, now we can start my day out on the right note, fully charged, fully rested, not sleep deprived, ready to go. And on top of all that, you do have a smart snooze option, which actually allows you to snooze your alarm going off on your Apple Watch. But it's a smart snooze option because Pillow can actually determine when you're about to slip back into a deep sleep after pressing that snooze button for like the 56th time and preventing you from actually falling into that deep sleep by once again sounding off your alarm. And I love all this because it's all about waking up on the right note, getting your day started off right. You don't want to be woken out of a deep sleep. You don't want to be clueless as to the kind of sleep quality you're getting. And maybe you want to be able to hit that snooze button a few times without being afraid of falling back into a deep sleep. For these reasons in particular, this is why I personally use Pillow every single night and pretty much waking up most mornings feeling better rested, not being jolted out of a deep sleep, and overall feeling more energetic throughout the day. And all this is within the Pillow app. You can start it up by opening it up on your iPhone. You'll immediately see the time you like to set your alarm for with how many hours of sleep that alarm time will actually yield. And again, based on your smart wake up settings, your actual wake up time will be in that window you personally set based on the sleep cycles that Pillow has been tracking throughout the night to wake up feeling better. From there, you could also swipe up quickly from the bottom of the app to see the different modes available within Pillow. You'll quickly notice you have a full mode, which includes motion tracking, sound recording, and the alarm option. You also have other modes such as just motion tracking and the alarm, or motion tracking with no alarm, or motion tracking and sound recording with no alarm. And for those of us who still don't get enough sleep per night, probably myself included, there's even a recovery nap 
nap in full cycle nap mode that actually allows you to take a nap intelligently, once again, based on sleep cycles that can help improve your focus, recharge you, re-energize you, whatever your needs are, to once again intelligently sleep and take full advantage of your time while sleeping. And once you have that set up on the iPhone app, it's as simple as opening up the Apple Watch app and clicking that big purple button that says start, which is another thing I love about Pillow, by the way. I love how visually pleasing it is. I'm absolutely in love with the purple theme, but boom, just like that, after clicking the purple start button, Pillow will begin analyzing your sleep throughout the night, using that data to present you with a sleep quality score and wake you up at the best possible time within your smart alarm window in the morning. Speaking of which, in the morning, when your alarm's ready to go off, when Pillow's ready to wake you up in the lightest sleep possible, you'll hear the alarm go off on your phone, which you actually have full control over on your Apple Watch. You could either stop the alarm or hit that snooze button right on your Apple Watch. And once you do fully wake up and stop the alarm, that's when you're actually presented with your full sleep tracking data right on your Apple Watch. Or you could actually check out your iPhone for even more in-depth details about your sleeping data, both of which are immensely helpful at immediately analyzing your sleep from the night before and figuring out what might be going right or wrong with your sleep. Now also within the iPhone app, you can actually see a cool neon color themed representation of your different sleep cycles throughout the night from the night prior, including your heart rate tracking, your percentage of different sleep cycles, and how long you were asleep versus your time in bed. All of this is just a really cool in-depth look at something as simple as sleeping, something we take for granted so much. But with us spending, what is it, like a third of our lives in bed? It makes sense that you're gonna wanna make sure you're taking full advantage of that time in your bed, making sure you're sleeping intelligently. Because if sleeping is something we have to do as humans anyway, why not utilize technology to see what's going on while we're asleep and make sure we're doing all we can to actually take full advantage of our sleep cycles. It's all about sleeping intelligently. You know what I mean? And you'd think with all this tracking going on while you sleep that it would drain the battery of the Apple Watch, right? Actually, no, that is not the case at all. Pillow's use of the battery is almost seamless. And I've used other sleep tracking apps on the Apple Watch that were debilitating on the Apple Watch. Sometimes my alarm wouldn't even go off in the morning because the battery died mid-sleep. I have not once had that happen with Pillow. Pillow seems to utilize the battery very efficiently. In fact, it's almost like I wasn't even running an app the entire night before on the Apple Watch. That's how good Pillow is at utilizing the battery. No concerns there. Now, Pillow isn't the only third-party sleep tracking app available for the Apple Watch, but I did try several others and I immediately went back to the Pillow sleep tracking app because what I think really sets it apart is the AI built into the Pillow app. Pillow actually uses a sleep analysis and detection algorithm that learns and improves as you record more sessions to help provide you with an even more accurate analysis and helpful insight to your sleep. And all these intelligent tools, features, AI, all of it helps bring a heightened sense of awareness to your sleep activity, what your sleep quality is like, and what you could do to improve your sleep. Pillow just takes sleep tracking to a whole new level in a cool, visually pleasing, intuitive, and seamless way. And even though it's not automatic sleep tracking like some other apps actually offer, my alarm is usually a little bit different every morning anyway, depending on my schedule ahead of me. So I don't personally mind the process of actually starting up Pillow every night, setting my alarm manually every night. And even then, it only takes like five to 10 seconds, so. Not a big deal. Now, as of the making of this video, Pillow is actually available for free from the App Store. You can download it by going to bmac.link slash pillow, or as always, there will be a link in the video description box below, so be sure to check that out. It's not gonna take you guys long to realize why I love Pillow so much, why it is my favorite sleep tracking app on the Apple Watch, and why, without a doubt, it is on my list of must-have apps for the Apple Watch. And do me a favor real quick, comment down below your thoughts on the Pillow app. Has it helped improve your sleep? Are you getting above 90% sleep quality score? If you are, I'm extremely jealous. Let me know your tips. Comment your thoughts about the Pillow app in the comment section below. Please don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. And if you're new here, you might want to consider subscribing. We upload new Apple Watch and tech videos to this channel at least once per week. <sighs> I am a little tired though. Not because I slept poorly, just because I've been editing videos all day. Kind of mentally and physically drained right now. Probably should go start a recovery nap in the Pillow app real quick. That'd be good. I might just go do that. But I will see you guys in my next video. <sighs> okay, no more yawning.